Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here. As requested, I'm taking a look at Dota 2 and revisiting it with a benchmark. This time around, I have a more modern NVIDIA GPU, the 1070, and I'll be using the Frankfurt demo file that Valve uses. More information and timeline links in the description down below. Taking a look at the APIs, we have OpenGL and Vulkan on Ubuntu, and DX9, 11, OpenGL and Vulkan on Windows. For the graphics settings, I'll be running the game with the same presets on both OS's. Notice the manually ticked shadow quality at ultra for max settings. For minimum, I've manually turned down the render quality to 40%. Taking a look at CPU and RAM, when we're using the default APIs at maxed out settings, we're seeing a higher RAM utilization on the Linux side compared to Windows. However, when we use Vulkan on both, we see that switch places and there's a higher RAM usage on Windows in comparison to Linux. CPU usage is generally the same between the two. So now we start with the default scenario which is DirectX 9 on Windows versus OpenGL on Ubuntu. This is what you'd get if a normal person started up the game by default and maxed out the, gra the graphic settings. On the left is Ubuntu and on the right is Windows. And what we're trying to look for here is not just the frames per second. We want to see which one stutters the most and has annoying stops here and there. So when we're running DX9 and OpenGL, we do see ever so often either OpenGL takes a lead momentarily or DirectX9 takes a lead momentarily. They seem to trade blows when it comes to the frames per second here. But we do see ever so slightly stutters on both sides that can be painful to performance when you're running it. You don't like it when it stops. Which is why the Valve guys brought in the Vulkan renderer, which we'll see in, in a moment. But this is generally what you would get if you were running the defaults the default API on either system. Interesting results nonetheless, I was expecting OpenGL to do a lot less than DirectX 9 because a lot of Windows users were very angry with me last time, telling me that DirectX 9 will blow it out of the water. It doesn't exactly really do that here as I can see. Now this is the interesting part here. Vulkan is the next generation API which is supposed to bring things closer to the metal for the graphics cards. And now you do see that the frames per second is ever so slightly higher on the Windows side, but the stuttering and the constant hangs is a... It can drive me a bit crazy here. I read, the, read the, this a couple of times and it constantly hangs, stutters, and made it very hard for me to do this video because I had to keep trying to keep things in alignment, redo the recording. So even though it's getting a few frames per second higher than, than the Linux side, it's not performing well. It's not smooth. And if you were to see comments by other Windows users as well, you generally see when they run Vulkan, this is the experience that they get as well. Lots of hangs and stutters but it's almost buttery smooth on the Linux side. It's really smooth. The frames per second is not great, but the, the smoothness is definitely there. If the frames per second can be ever so higher, we would have a perfect clear winner right here. The stuttering is definitely very bad on the Windows side though. Valve needs to fix that. So if you're gonna run Vulkan, definitely run it on the Linux side for now. As you can see here, out of all of them, the Vulkan side takes the lead on both platforms with very slight difference between Ubuntu and Windows. When we drop down the settings to minimum, we're seeing an average slightly higher on the Ubuntu side than the Windows side. DirectX 9 takes the second place compared to uh, Vulkan. When we look at the frame times though, this is the important part here. DirectX 9 takes longer to render than OpenGL on Ubuntu, which means more stutters here. When we compare it apples to apples, OpenGL runs worse on Windows than it does on Ubuntu, which means you'll see more stuttering and it will feel less smooth running on Windows. So all APIs against one another, we're seeing probably the closest is DirectX 11 in terms of frame time compared to the OpenGL on Ubuntu. Unfortunately, it runs ever so slightly higher when Ubuntu has about a 6 to 7 millisecond per frame. It takes DirectX 11, 8 to 9 milliseconds to render the same frame. So the clear winner in terms of frame time here is running OpenGL on Ubuntu. If I could log Vulkan frame times, at least on Linux, it would be better than the rest of them, no doubt. Time to summarize what I've shown you here. It's important to understand that Dota 2 is a challenge to benchmark because it's a moving target. It constantly gets updates and almost weekly, if not on a daily basis. As can be seen, average frames per second only tells one part of the story. To know whether a game truly runs smoothly or not, we need additional data. In this video, I provide you with that data in the form of actual footage and the frame time graphs so you can see and study for yourselves why and where one is smoother over the other. At least on my computer, 
with my hardware setup, if I wanted to run Dota 2 as stutter free as possible, there's only one choice, Dota 2 running Vulkan on Linux. Second to that would either be DirectX 9 on Windows or OpenGL on Ubuntu, since both of them trade blows in FPS and stutter. With that said, this is both the beauty and difficulty of the computer platform. What results I get may not actually translate the same way over to your platform. So I urge you, please benchmark Dota 2 on your computers as well. There's no doubt you'll find differences and the API choice may be completely different for each one of you. With so many graphics APIs to cover in this video, I had a lot of data to sift through. My initial findings on Windows were a lot lower at first, but after redoing them several times over the week, the numbers became higher until the normalized results we see in this video. I've tried my best here, but I'm only human, so if I've made any mistakes, I hope you'll forgive me. I spent an entire week on this benchmark to get it right. Alongside getting the average FPS values through the Dota 2 time demo, I also cross-referenced them with the log files from GLX OSD and Fraps to make sure that they're accurate. I hope you've enjoyed this video and obtained something useful out of it. Please feel free to share your results in the comments down below and discuss your results with others. Thank you for watching.